All right, so I, I'm so frustrated with scales. I know we're not supposed to put, uh, you know, our attention on the scale, um, but air, like I bought a new scale, a, a more expensive one, hoping that it would be more reliable. I'm a little crooked. Um, and it seems like every time I get on the scale, it's one or two pounds inconsistent. This morning I weighed myself first thing in the morning, 182.6, I think it was, and went on, you know, had my coffee, you know, got back on the scale, 184. There's, um, excuse me, like, <laughs> Can you please not mess with my brain like that? So, um, yeah, it's really frustrating. I know that it's not 184 because that's ridiculous. Um, so what do you guys do to get a reliable scale that doesn't ch change in weight every single time you get on it? Like, is there, does that even exist? So that's my frustration. Oh yeah. I, I put a reminder on my phone to take my Armour Thyroid every morning at, well, I set it for 11 because sometimes if I get up, I don't typically eat right away or if I do, I have coffee. So I want to take it an hour away from a meal, any kind of meal. Um, so even coffee because it has calories. So if any of you need to take your thyroid, here's your reminder. Let's take it. So we don't, you know, we need, we need the thyroid in our cells so that we can lose the weight. So yeah, I'm going to take my thyroid. I'm drinking a little bit of, uh, Mio, um, black cherry in my water. So it's good. I've read that. Drinking water first thing in the morning is super good for your body because it rehydrates, it gets your organs going. So I try to drink water first thing in the morning. Um, it helps a lot. So yeah, I just wanted to come on. I'm just frustrated with the scale. Like, why can't we have a reliable scale? I don't get that. I don't understand why it has to fluctuate so much. I'm not worried about it at the end of the day because all my non-skill victories are have been amazing, so I'm excited about that. I have a little bird visitor. Come here. I heard noises behind me and look who was coming. Say hi. You say hi. Hello. Say hi everybody out there in YouTube land. Yeah, so today's a really rainy day. <laughs> you can all you just always do this to me. Why don't you do that? You're crazy burby. It's a crazy bird. Are you a pretty bird? Are you a pretty bird? Can you say pretty Yeah? Can you say I'm a pretty bird? Are you a good boy? Say I love you. I love you, YouTube. Give him a kiss. No. He just turned the camera off. Such a naughty boy. You're such a naughty bird. <clears throat> so anyway, guys, I um, just wanted to say hi, check in. Hope everyone is doing really well. Um, I wanted to also mention, because something, I was watching another video, and um, they were mentioning stress. And it just kind of keyed into my mind because over the past few days, um, over the past few days, I have been feeling really bloated and just not feeling as good as I normally do on keto. So, you know, and I know that stress can definitely cause inflammation inside of your body and we don't always realize that it's there. But if you have stressful things in your life, remember that. Um, that will affect your, that's going to affect your health. It's going to affect your weight loss. So if you can try to eliminate sources of stress in your life, make sure you're getting enough sleep. 
We need the sleep for our body to do its job, to repair and to build and all of that. So eliminate your sources of stress. When, when something really stressful happens, remind yourself that you are on a journey for health and that you need to refocus and not, um, not focus or dwell on whatever stressful event is happening. Um, I know it can be hard and it depends on how stressful it can be, but a lot of times we just have little things in our day to day life that are stressful, like a bill or, you know, you have a child that's causing you stress or you have a car breakdown or whatever it is, you know, there's lots of stress, but just remember those are the little things in life and, um, we don't want our bodies to be inflamed. We want to stay healthy. So just remember to let those little things go and meditate or whatever you do to calm yourself down or whatever you do to just remind yourself that, you know, this is life and we're on this journey and we just need to take it one step at a time. So um, that was a good reminder for me because I have been going through stress. I have, you know, kind of been stressing about my gallbladder, thinking, you know, worried that I'm going to have to have surgery or should I not have surgery or, you know, should I just get it out and go get on with it? Maybe I'll feel better. Maybe I won't. You know, it's just like a lot of worry and stress about that for me. So I'm just trying to keep it positive and just go with the flow and, you know, trust that, that as long as I'm doing the right things, as long as I'm trying, as long as I'm listening to my body that, you know, everything will work out. So yeah. So hopefully you guys, um, have a great week this week, the rest of the week and good luck with all your weigh-ins and everything else. We'll see you later. Bye.